Greetings on this cloudy, windy, cool spring day. Darlene here. Darlene's Garden at Markwood Meadows. It is Wednesday the 10th of April 2019. I just watched a video a little while ago that was called Planting Seeds in Your Soul. And they said that they had gotten challenged from another channel to post a video about that. So I thought maybe I would post a video about it, too, just because that topic kind of spoke to me. Planting seeds in your soul. Well, if you've been watching my videos, you know I've been planting seeds in my garden and planting seeds in little pots in my house. Planting seeds in my soul. How do I go about doing that? Well, for one thing, my everyday life needs to be done in a positive way. Things that make plants grow kind of are like things that make our soul grow. And if we give our soul too much negativity, we're not going to grow. If we're gossiping about others, and I know that's a hard one for most of us girls, we like to talk about things that other people do. But it's not good for our soul. Making good choices about the things we say, the things we do, the people we are, is good for growing our soul. Well, there are other things, too, like what we eat. I know I've been trying to eat more healthfully by eating more greens, by eating microgreens, by making my own yogurt. For a while I was making my own kefir and kombucha and that I kind of fell away on that and I need to find out where I can get some kombucha seeds so I can start, or not kombucha, excuse me, kefir or kefir. Some people say, I don't know, I always said kefir. I need to get some more kefir seeds so that I can start that back up because I really do like the kefir. But I just had got, it had gotten ahead of me, and I ended up not being able to use all of it. And then I quit for a while, and then what I had kind of died on me. So eating more healthy, drinking more healthy, trying to eliminate sugar, that's kind of a hard one, too. I like those Girl Scout cookies, you know. Getting more exercise. I've been going to physical therapy for strengthening the muscles in my back so that I don't get back aches when I walk and when I do my gardening. So getting more exercise with the th physical therapy exercises and then other exercises that I just do on my own, getting out, walking in my yard, going for a walk downtown, just more more being outdoors, go outside more. My gardening helps with that. My favorite thing to do is to sit in my easy chair and watch YouTube videos. And I'm sure if you're watching my video, that's what you like to do too, face it, right? But just getting more exercise, especially at my age, it's important because Someone saw a picture of me the other day and they said they were jealous because I was aging backwards. It just was the luck of the picture. I think I, 
I know, I feel my age many days. And <laughs> being positive about aging is another way to feed my soul, to plant seeds in my soul, not to be negative about how old I am. <laughs> I'm kind of proud of how old I am because I've gone through many stages in my life. Each time in my life seems like a different lifetime, but it's all been good. Even the bad parts, they've been, well, compared to some people, not, but that feeding positive in my soul. And then my, and this should have been number one, my relationship with my creator. I look at the beauty around me. I look at miracles that have happened in people's lives. And I think, how can people think there's no God? The miracles in our lives, the beauty in the earth, how can that just happen? No, I firmly believe it was created by a kind, loving creator, a just creator, not just kind and living, loving, but like a father, if we've messed up, we have to accept the consequences of what we've done. That's just the way it is. But he created me before I was even born. He created my children and my grandchildren before they were even thought of. He knew that they were going to be, and he created them little by little in the womb, and he loves us. Well, I didn't mean for this to get preachy. It happens sometimes, but I just want to challenge you to create a video, if you're a video creator, about planting seeds in your soul. And if you're just a watcher, then do what you need to do to plant seeds in your soul because that's just a good way to live. That's all for today. I didn't even show you any plants, but it will be in my intro and my outro as I post the video. Some plants, I promise you. <laughs> so take care. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, do so. Hit that like button, hit that little bell. Tell other people about it. Because I like to share my life with you. Until next time, may the good Lord bless you.